Right, okay, let's go again. My bad. What would I do without the woman who's got my, got, got my back? What would I do without the woman who's got my, got, got my back? She would fight for me, ride or die for me. She's always right there when I'm feeling lonely. Tell me what would I do without the woman who has got my, got, got my back? Yeah, yeah. Hi, my name is Noma Kosi and I'm a soulful jazz singer. So far, I have performed at many venues around High Wycombe, just really gigging and just trying to get myself out there. My genre of music is uh, a little bit of everything, just like soul, R&B, jazz music, just like all mixed into one. My ambition is I want to be as successful as Beyonce and um, not so much the fame and the celebrity status but more the achievements and you know her cv really do you feel you have the ability to become that big yes i feel i have the ability to be as successful as her because i know what i want and i'm willing to work hard to get there My name is Lexi Du Sart Murray and I am Noma Kosi's manager. How did you come across Noma? I thought she was incredible as a fan. I ran up to her after she performed. I was like, oh, you're so incredible. What's your name? Um, and I instantly followed her on Twitter and months went by and then she added me on Facebook and, and sent me this long message about how she really, she's looking for a manager uh, and how she'd really love me to manage her and she saw that I did music management. How much has she helped you since you were doing this on your own? Um, she's helped a lot since we started really. We've only been together for like three months but in that three months we've done a lot so it's really been a big help to have her. But she is you know, a good manager and we have a good relationship because I don't feel too pressured or too, you know, like I can't talk to her, she's cool. The whole reason why I um, asked her to do it is because I wanted someone who will grow with me. I don't want, a, like, it's great to get like a professional who knows exactly what they're doing and has like managed like five big stars or whatever and that's good but I wanted someone to grow with me so that when we do get to that point where a label is approaching us she knows exactly who I am she knows exactly what I want in terms of like what I'm willing to do as well so she'll always fight my corner whereas if you have someone who's already there they'll just try and change me to be something that I'm not and so um, I think it's I don't think she knows everything, but we're learning together, so I'd prefer that, really. What are you working on at the moment? We are working on um, a song that I wrote with Mr. Mackey, and um, it's called Got My Back. This song is basically about, I wrote it about my mum, he wrote it about his mum, but it's more, it's about that one woman in your life, whether it's your mother or your auntie or anyone that has, like, been there for you for ever and it's always got your back basically so it's just to say thank you to all the lovely women in our lives what would i do without the working on a song called Lights, Camera, Action. Um, it's a song kind of like about uh, why people get into the industry, um, what they want from the industry, things like that. And then I'm going to be rapping on it. Why did you choose Noma to sing like I, I heard her singing and I thought she was a phenomenal singer. Do you think her style of music will work well with your track? I think so. I think it's kind of geared to a kind of more of a jazzy sound. <laughs> Tell me about the fashion.
fashion show. Yes, there was a fashion show at the Arts for Everyone Centre in High Wycombe, which um, they asked me to perform. It was really cool. I had fun. I got to wear one of the um, designer's jewellery. <laughs> The jewelry that you asked that you wore at the fashion show. Yeah. What was what was the style of it? It was kind of um, it was kind of African style really. So, cause that's kind of what we're going for. We're doing the whole smart casual, cute look with a little splash of Africa. She's quite cash. You know, she she wears what she feels comfortable in, but she's got a great eye for detail. And she likes to look glamorous, she loves wearing heels, she likes the sexy vibe and I love that about her because it looks great, she's very eye-catching and she, she's got a different look, she does look African, that's, that's something that you can't ignore, um, which is why we're trying to separate her from the rest of the market. I want like, the Africanness like, I don't want too much, I don't, I don't feel the need to wear like a full African attire, I think it's just kind of showing a bit of myself without saying oh look I'm African you know I'm just kind of letting people see it in my appearance so that's important to you like yeah it past. is because then like I'm I'm representing where I'm from obviously I've got my name which is <laughs> a mission for some people her image and her name tie in together um, I know that Noma gets asked a lot about her name and it is a sensitive subject because a lot of people say oh you know Noma's never gonna get big if you continue to mark her as Noma Kosi but for me you know I understand where she's coming from with the wanting to keep her whole name you know that's the name that her family gave her you know it's I feel like to be true to herself and her brand we need to really get people to understand that she is Noma Kosi. Noma's a nice name but it's not it doesn't, it's not enough, like if you get, I don't know how to explain it, it doesn't really say who I am, you know, no my course is like, it's me. Be true to yourself, be true to who you are, because the way I look at it is, you could spend 10 years fighting to be who you are and after 10 years having people accept it and then you get everything you want or you could spend two years having people change you into something fun and then spend the rest of your life being something that you're not happy being so might as well just be yourself hard work always pays off at the end of the day it's time to be bigger and better and we're gonna move uh, away from Wickham now and we're gonna focus on London because I think that's really where the talent is found in general. I like performing, I like being on stage and like you know you have that audience interaction that's what I love and but and I want to play like massive arenas I want to play like Madison Square Garden like the O2 Arena all the big big stages of the world but obviously to perform and headline these big arenas you have to be a worldwide known name. Where do you see yourself in five years time? <gasps> Beverly Hills. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, performing. Like, did you say five years? Five years time. Performing. Hopefully, if, hopefully, right, I will have just brought out my first album. So I'll be doing that. You know, promotion tour. Um, yeah, and then like nominated for an award somewhere. Nominated whether I win or not, that's a different story. Tell me what's on your mind, cause I can take it crazy.